The effects of climate change can feel distant in both time and geography. However, there is increasing evidence that we are already in the midst of a climate upheaval that brings staggering consequences for our society and planet. The primary effect of climate change will be a rise in global temperatures. If emissions carry on at current rates, this could be up to 2.5 degrees by 2050, and nearly 5 degrees by the end of the century. Whilst this may seem like a small number, it would have huge consequences. This rise in temperature destabilizes our climate in varied and complex ways. Unsurprisingly, global warming has led to more frequent, more intense, and longer lasting heat waves. For instance, the French heat wave in the summer of 2019 was made 3 degrees warmer and between 10 and 100 times more likely by human activities, and led to the deaths of nearly 1,500 people. This effect, paired with climate change causing decreased rainfall, has caused an increase in droughts and wildfires. And this is not just a problem seen elsewhere in the world. The UK saw more wildfires in 2019 than any year on record. Conversely, coal snaps have been attributed to climate change disrupting the jet stream, a band of wind high in the atmosphere which allows cold arctic air southwards. This includes the February 2021 winter storm Uri that caused Texas to see its first ever statewide winter storm warning and led to at least 176 casualties, 10 million power outages and almost $200 billion of damage. Whilst climate change is expected to lead to decreased rainfall in dry places and increased rainfall in wet places, in all cases, one-off heavy precipitation events will become more intense. This means that the UK is likely to experience more floods too. Warmer sea surface temperatures will also lead to more intense hurricanes, typhoons and other cyclones, with higher wind speeds and rainfall. Coastal regions are made particularly susceptible to these effects. Around 9 metres of sea level rise can be expected by 2100 with warming of 4 degrees Celsius compounding with increased flood risks. This would completely submerge many island states, including Tuvalu and the Maldives, along with parts of the UK such as the Fens and large parts of London and Yorkshire. Worldwide, this affected area is currently home to more than half a billion people. The warming ocean and addition of meltwater also disrupt the vast ocean currents that are responsible for moving nutrients, heat and moisture around our planet. Increased levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will be absorbed by the ocean, making it more acidic and devastating ocean life. Coral reefs, which support 25% of all ocean life and feed 1 billion people, are particularly at risk. Coral reefs are not the only habitat facing collapse. The rise in temperatures and changing weather patterns have affected Arctic tundra, rainforests and almost all other ecosystems. This has led to food chain imbalances, changes in migration habits and, most alarmingly, what is being called the Earth's sixth major extinction. Some species will benefit from the changing climate. However, these tend to be invasive species like cane toads and disease carriers like mosquitoes. As a result, in future, diseases such as malaria may even spread into new regions. The spreading of disease is just one of the many ways humans will be affected by climate change. Glaciers and rainfall that provide dependable fresh water will diminish, whilst flood and drought conditions cut crop and livestock yield. This could lead to major famines and water scarcity. Climate change does not affect all humans equally though. Despite the richest 1% producing more than double the emissions of the poorest half of humanity, the effects of climate change will be most severe on those living in poverty. There are further levels to this climate injustice, with factors like race, gender and generation, all creating vast disparities in who will bear the burden of climate change. There have already been huge impacts on our global society, with desertification, extreme weather and sea level rises leading to the first waves of climate refugees, roughly 80% of whom are women and children. To recap, the rise in global temperatures due to climate change will destabilise our weather patterns, resulting in more wildfires, heat waves, floods and storms. Meanwhile, the ocean and much of our wildlife will struggle to cope. Humans will also experience major consequences, with extreme weather catastrophes, tropical disease spread, food and water scarcity, and even climate-based conflicts. Climate change is already altering the world as we know it, and this change is accelerating every year. So what can we do about it? In our next video, we'll talk you through possible responses and what impact they could make.